Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some more NBA news to talk about, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. So for those of you who haven't heard, there's a lot of rumors coming around right now that the Boston Celtics are actually very interested in Blake Griffin. I think this would be a very good move by the Boston Celtics as... There's, you know, they've fallen off a little bit with the Kyrie Irving and Al Horford moves, and I think a lot of Boston fans are, you know, quite excited to see what Kemba Walker and Ennis Cantor and pretty much Gordon Haywood can produce. Obviously, Gordon Haywood has an all-fresh start now without that injury and without Kyrie Irving pretty much being there to hold the ball a lot more. Kemba Walker is a very good player in general, and obviously Ennis Cantor, I think, was amazing for the Portland Trailblazers in the playoffs. He doesn't exactly have the best defense, but... In the playoffs, you couldn't even notice if he had bad defense or not. He was an absolute... He was very good. Arguably, a top three player for them in the playoffs. And yeah, the fact that Boston were able to get him on $5 million is quite a good contract in my opinion. Now, the rumor is they are going to be trading Jalen Brown for uh, Blake Griffin. Whether that's a straight swap or not, I kind of doubt it because I don't really rate Jalen Brown that much anymore. I mean, it'd be cool if obviously my team, the Cleveland Cavaliers, were able to pick him up, I think. But I don't know how well he works in with the game plan of John Beeline. But yeah, I think Blake Griffin would be very good with the Boston Celtics and it's arguably the missing piece that they have on the team right now. They've got pretty much all the other positions all locked out, but they're going to have to play Jason Tatum as the power forward because, you know, Gorn Haywood is going to try and get back in that starting lineup and play small forward. If the whole thing doesn't work out, they might have to try and move Gorn Haywood to the Pistons as well. I don't know how that is all going to go, but they could be looking at a starting... I think it would happen at the trade deadline if anything was to happen. I think if Pistons were about to miss the playoffs, I think they might move Blake Griffin. That's probably what would end up happening, but I could see the starting lineup right now pretty much being Kemba Walker, uh, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Blake Griffin, and Ennis Cantor. That's what I pretty much see it would be. Now, I don't know what the trade would exactly look like. I think Jalen Brown would obviously definitely have to be in it, as that's what it's going to most likely look like. I'm just really surprised on Jalen Brown and his agent pretty much saying, I think they said they want $30 million. They want $30 million for a player that can't even put up 15 points a game. That is quite, that is really, really bad. Like, I, I couldn't see anyone ever giving him anywhere near that amount of money. He's playing like a $12 million to $15 million player right now, in my opinion. I just don't see why any team would even offer him nearly as much money. And I think Boston Celtics, you know, being the smart organization they are, are seeing that the chance of them re-signing is most likely not going to happen um, because of all this cap stuff. So they're probably going to ask themselves, let's just move him now. While he's got a bit of value and he's still young, let's move him to the Detroit Pistons potentially for, obviously, Blake Griffin. There's a couple of other players that are rumored to come up, which I might make a video on them separately. These include, you know, Kevin Love, Tristan Thompson, and Jordan Clarkson from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Reportedly, the Celtics are really trying to fill out that power forward position and get a good power forward that can potentially shoot threes, it looks like. Because, yeah, Blake Griffin... And Kevin Love, the first thing I think about those two power forwards straight away is a three-point shot. So I don't know if that's what the Boston Celtics potentially have interest in at the moment with the power forwards, or they're just looking for a decent power forward, which obviously both these players are. If Blake Griffin were to potentially go to the Boston Celtics, I think he would be their best player. I really highly rate Blake Griffin, one of my favorite players in the NBA, and he's taken his game to a new level with the Detroit Pistons and has shown he's easily their number one player and even obviously got them into the playoffs, which was pretty good by him. Now, there's going to be a lot of interest from other teams, which might include, you know, the Miami Heat as well, etc. I think that, yeah, Boston should definitely try and get him. And if they, you know, have Gordon Haywood in the trade, it could potentially be Gordon Haywood, Jalen Brown, and a first, because obviously Gordon Haywood's bad contract if things don't work out for maybe Blake Griffin and another player. Then, if it was, you know, they're not including Gordon Haywood in it, it might have to be like Jalen Brown in a first for, obviously, Blake Griffin, I would think. Because I just don't know if a straight swap for Blake Griffin and Jalen Brown would get the deal done. I think they're going to have to put in some other stuff in there but to potentially make it work. Maybe even some young pieces, other young pieces like... Uh, you know, certain other players who I can't really think of off the top of my head who they would even try to do it. Maybe Romeo Langford, I think, could be that other young player they could potentially put in it. But 
yeah, the Detroit Pistons, I wouldn't think would give up Blake Griffin pretty easily after, yes, he's got some injuries, but he arguably just had a career best year and played like an absolute star. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he made the all-star team if he did, and I don't know how that would work because yeah, he was absolutely amazing last year. If you watched him every time he got the ball, he really did something. And yes, he was an NBA all-star and he made the NBA third team. So yeah, very good year from Blake Griffin. So Detroit might even have to overpay to get him because there's going to be so many other teams that are going to potentially want him, which pretty much will include the Miami Heat as well. And yeah, I'm guessing a variety of other teams. No teams in the West that I can really think of. Quite a bit of teams from the East will definitely look at him, I would think. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest NBA news and sport content. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on the Boston Celtics potentially getting Blake Griffin? Do you rate Blake Griffin? Do you not? I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.